Someone told the Crawford County Sheriff's Department a woman may have drowned in the Flint River, but she turned up alive in Fort Valley. One year we spent the day in Crawford County and has the latest on the search with a happy ending. At the Taylor and Crawford County line, water is rushing down the Flint River, a site Charlie Clark is familiar with. He's lived in Crawford County most of his life, and he says with all the recent rain, river levels are still not safe. Uh, it has dropped some, but it's still very high. That's why the Crawford County Sheriff's Department kicked into action when they got a call Tuesday morning about a possible drowning at the boat ramp off Highway 96. According to Sheriff Lewis Walker, deputies searched the river with the help of the Department of Natural Resources. The Department of Natural Resources stopped at nothing to find a possible drowning victim. They searched the Flint River by boat and even took things to the sky using a helicopter. Deputies kept the boat ramp blocked off while they searched, but Clark says when the levels are this high, he stays far away. It's, it's pretty, but um, basically I come down here to fish and it, when it's up like this, I don't even try to get in. But around noon, Sheriff Walker confirmed the woman, 40-year-old Jennifer Saunders, was found safely in Fort Valley and was with her family and says the investigation is still ongoing. But Clark says he's happy she was found alive. I was expecting, that, uh, expecting the search to be going on now, but like I said, I got out here and luckily she'd been found and that, all that was good. In Crawford County, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. Officer Russia wouldn't answer any further questions about the search, such as who made the initial call and what happened to the woman. He said the Crawford County Sheriff's Office is still investigating.